this little um, video, which is part of the oldest view thing. This is the real life wreckage of the Valley View Center Mall after it was demolished. But you know, the oldest view is all about like a ghost version of the Valley View Center Mall and Kane Pixels seems to have like a slight obsession with the Valley View Center Mall. It seems like it's one of his many obsessions. I haven't watched this yet because I'm pretty sure it's actually more non-fiction than fiction with the Kane Pixels thing. It totally looks... It, I'm, I am pretty sure he literally just traveled out to Texas to walk around the destroyed bits of the Valley View Center Mall, which is really cool. I mean, I dig it. If I had the money, I would travel around and look at abandoned buildings too, which I've done before. We went to an old abandoned church out somewhere once and it was really spooky. This isn't really spooky, obviously it's broad daylight, but I'm pretty sure this is meant to mean something for the oldest view. If you look at this video, not only as nonfiction and as like part of the actual oldest view, why are the greens and colors so saturated? It makes you think that he is really going for something with it. Here's the funny thing about this little avatar that I'm using. I have to keep it up to where it is or it won't catch my voice. The mouth will keep closing over and over again, but when it's this high, literally sometimes my breathing will like make the mouth open. And then my little ghost looks super surprised. But right now, I'm just watching this, and then I guess I'm going to pull up the ne the new Backrooms videos, which it's been forever, like, I watched the first, I watched the entirety of the Backrooms series earlier this year, which literally the beginning of the year, so at this point, that would have been eight, seven or eight months ago. I don't remember a whole lot. I mean, I remember the core plot, but if I had to sit down and, like, be quizzed on the names of characters and stuff like that, I would not remember. Oh, that's neat. Okay, that's that's pretty fucking cool. He actually is like showing where certain parts of the ground itself matched up with pictures and videos. I would hope I mean this ghost needs to breathe, but I would hope most ghosts don't need to breathe. That that would be such an inconvenience. Like dying and then having to do similar stuff that you had to do when you were alive. Imagine being a ghost that has to go to the bathroom. See, I didn't know how much of this was going to be referencing the actual Oldest View video, so that's actually really neat. Getting flashbacks while walking around the wreckage of an abandoned mall. That's a chair. Riveting commentary. That's a chair. Seems like he's kind of transfixed by this foldable chair. Got some poop on the ground there. What are the lore implications of the poop? I'm getting into it. I'm like, I'm a little uh, transfixed by just the the eeriness of it. The fact that he he decided to like, the fact that he decided to put images from the episodes over to show like where it's taking place is super neat. And since I haven't watched this before, I didn't know that. And so it's like a nice little treat. I literally thought it was just him walking around the grounds with nothing else, but nah. He had to do it up. It's in broad daylight, but this does give you like a sense of foreboding. Keep feeling like something is going to spring up out of the grass. Which there isn't much grass to spring up out of, but like, I'm pretty sure it's just the ambient music that he has playing in the background. That is bright red. Let me know how the audio levels are, if you guys can hear the video, if you can hear me alright. I don't want to overtake one or the other, I want it to be like pretty level. Hello Dark Lilligant. 
What's the significance of the Dr. Pedal Bobble? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> What's the significance of the Dr. Pepper bottle in the trash can? Oh my god, the, the Dr. Pepper Bobble. What's the significance? What does it mean? There's a hole. We love that. We love holes starring Shia LaBeouf and other actors that I can't remember. I think Sigourney Weaver is also in holes. She's the bad guy. Sigourney Weaver. That's hmm. Spooky grass hole. I think if there was a soda that was in the back room that sponsored the back rooms, it would be like unelig it would be in ineligible. It would be like I don't know, Dr. Bopsy or something like that. Mr. Bopsy. Like, you wouldn't eat, it would be one of those off-brand sodas. Come get a can, a good old can of Senior Capsis. Your favorite off-brand, uh, cherry-flavored dark soda beverage. I'm actually so surprised at how entertained I am by this. When I first started, like, checking it out, I was like, ah, but, like, I'm kind of transfixed. He's pretty good at doing making a cinematic experience about something that would be otherwise kind of just tame and a little boring, I think. Oh wait, okay, I gotta go back for that. I wonder if he like planned this entire route. So he knew he would hit specific spots and get like these perfect pictures that lined up, or if it just happened that way. Oh, he's got it. It's got to be planned. He had to have like sat and thought about all this. If it did just work out, that's amazing, but I don't think so. I imagine he scouted this out and was like, "How am I? How am I gonna make a movie about me just walking around in this wreckage?" And honestly, you did a pretty good job. I'm, I, I'm like resisting the urge to say something kind of trite, but I might as well. Life always finds a way, right? Why resist it? Just be, let the cringe flow through you. And by you, I mean me. Oh, that's the video. I'm not kidding. I'm pretty sure that is the video that actually got me into the oldest view. I got recommended a mall tour of the Valley View Center Mall before I got recommended the oldest view. And it's it's super weird to think about that. How I'm pretty sure the reason that mall tour was popping off was because of the oldest view had come out. I think one of the reasons that I like this so much is one of my favorite types of media growing up was like ghost, ghost like horror movies that weren't really, it didn't depend on showing you scary things, but more implying what could be there. And it has this like, someone mentioned Kane Pixels being like this ethereal being earlier, but this does have this like ethereal feeling to it as he's walking around and the different little bits are popping up and playing these little sound cues. It reminds me of like a movie with someone experiencing little flashbacks or like a game or something like that. And it makes it simultaneously like really pretty and also really kind of creepy. Okay, it sounds like the music's getting a little somber now. I've been wanting to play the Fallout games again since the show came out, which I still haven't watched all of the show. 
because I am incredibly, wouldn't say lazy, but when it comes to like television shows, I'm like, damn, that's going to be 12 hours of my life. I'm going to have to sit there. It's amazing that I can watch so many hours of YouTube though. This is reminding me of the song, uh, Touch by Daft Punk from, like, Random Access Memories. Okay, Fallout New Vegas or Fallout 3? Funny enough, I've played more Fallout 3, but I prefer New Vegas. I think New Vegas is just a little harder to get into at the start, because 3 kind of holds your hand a lot. Uh, but New Vegas, I think, has more, like, though in the late game, it's a lot more fun. Fallout 3 is a very linear experience, I feel like. Which, I enjoy both, but New Vegas just has a lot more qualities that I appreciate after the fact. Hey, I mean, that's pretty cool, though. Like, if they had a Fallout game that takes place in Tennessee, I don't know how biased I'd be towards it. But it would be neat. I'd be like, oh, that's where I live. Yeah, I said this was somber, but this is actually feeling kind of uplifting. Like, I could imagine he's just going to fly up into the sky at the end of this or something weird like that. Is this where we find out that it was secretly a Dr. Pepper advertisement? He's going to reach down and there's a pristine, old refreshing can of Dr. Pepper amongst the rubble. nice very actually relaxing fun kind of uplifting and now for something completely different we're just gonna let it auto play into it hey thanks for watching this is an edit of a stream i did reacting to the newest cane pixels videos and a few other things this is just a test to see if people are interested in this kind of content something that i can release between bigger videos you know i've been live streaming a little bit i'm probably going to live stream like once or twice a week and I could edit some of the streams down to make them more consumable for people who don't have time to sit for like three or four hours and watch me just blabber while playing a game or watching some videos. I hope you enjoyed the video. I wanted to say I think this video is really cool and I genuinely do think that like Kane Pixels made something very cinematic here on purpose. I think it probably does have something to do with the greater oldest view lore type thing, but I don't think it's like a super important piece to it besides showing the beauty of like the destruction, the difference between when it was and how it is now, how something can be there and be gone. And the colors at the beginning, of course, kind of allude to the death aspect of everything, how Wyatt died and the colors were incredibly oversaturated versus the grays, and how, you know, these the colors of all the plants in the background are oversaturated at the beginning of this, I think is alluding to that, that idea of death and decay but life still existing in nature and all that kind of thing but if you like this let me know i might keep making stuff like this i'm going to go ahead and release the backrooms edit probably in like a week or so this one was just a lot quicker i was able to throw this together in a few hours and yeah let me know if you like this kind of content i might make more of it also let me know how you feel about the streaming i've been actually losing subscribers like every time i stream which is kind of funny but i think that's mostly people who maybe forgot they were subscribed to me and don't watch me anymore and then they get the notifications. So let me know if you want the streams to stay on YouTube, if you don't like them, if you're fine with them staying on YouTube but you want me to maybe turn off notifications if I can do that, or if I should just move to Twitch to do the live streaming. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Ghost on Holiday. You know, thank you for letting me haunt your digital devices as you let me do, and remember... But it's all worth it. If I can kill the man in the green bowler hat with a question mark on his shirt. Octua, riddle on that thing.